friends welcome back to BMS Beauty my name is Brittany and here on this channel I like to talk about mostly skincare but some other beauty related items too and I am going to talk to you about this today so this is the new Pareto sunscreen that they just recently launched it's called the Daily Go-To Sunscreen, Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Plus, PA Plus 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 Plus, and I am super excited to try it out. So let's get started. Hey, hey, it's Sunscreen Sunday, and I just got home, and this was waiting for me outside, so I'm super excited. Um, but yeah, I was out and about today, had my windows down in the truck, hence my crazy hair. And um, I just got home and I saw the Yes Style package waiting for me, so I wanted to uh, quick um, get on and give you my first impressions. Um, I quick washed my face and reapplied moisturizer so I could do this since I already had sunscreen on earlier and I wanted to start with a fresh canvas. Um, so this is what it looks like outside of the package here. It is 60 mils um, and it says UVA, UV protection, weightless and scentless. And let's see here. In the back it says uh, daily go-to sunscreen smoothly glides onto the did you see that fly jameson you're supposed to be getting the sky raisins okay sorry <laughs> anyways um daily go-to sunscreen smoothly glides onto the skin delivering strong and effective protection from uv rays formulated Based on both chemical and physical filters, this fragrance-free sunscreen has a lightweight and fast-absorbing texture, making it comfortable for every use. It also says it's hypoallergenic and coral reef safe. This is a Korean hybrid sunscreen, um, so I'm super excited to give this a go. I like it when they come with a little foil on top because then I know for sure it wasn't opened. Some brands don't do that. I wish they all did. All right. Let's give it a try here. So this will be application one. Oh, it is very nice and lightweight feeling. Oh, there's sky raisins in here. That's what I call flies. I don't know why. That time of year here in Michigan. But anyways, yeah, very lightweight. No scent whatsoever. No eye burning. It is hybrid, so there's both chemical and mineral sunscreens in here. And I'm not seeing any white cast. It's a little shiny, but I was a little shiny to begin with anyways, since I had just applied my moisturizer. It feels very nice and soothing on the skin. No irritation, anything like that. So, so far we're feeling good all right let's put our second application on all right so i am done applying i did two applications it's still, I look pretty shiny, yes, but it doesn't feel like greasy or um, super heavy or anything like that. So I'm really hoping that it just needs a little time to soak in. This kind of reminds me of um, like the feeling of it, like that lightweight 
like milky texture but like hydrating and moisturizing it makes me think of the can make um the clear version i have and i like that um when i'm feeling a little bit more dry and not as oily so this could definitely kind of maybe go in that route but yeah so far it feels good like i said no irritation no eye irritation it doesn't smell at all um no burning so no white cast which i love um so yeah i will uh check back with you in about 20 minutes or so hopefully i'm not quite as shiny um and give you my updated opinion then see you then hey friends i'm back it's been about 20 minutes or so since i put on the daily go-to sunscreen by Perito here um sorry my dog's <laughs> collars are jingling in the background but anyways i'm still pretty shiny but it's not like greasy shiny it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't like come off on my fingers when i touch my face it doesn't feel like it's just like sliding around on my face. I feel like it's it's sunk in enough and it just leaves like that really dewy finish. So it does remind me a lot of the can make um, just because of the finish and everything. So I think this will be probably better for me in the drier months, which are coming up anyway. It's already starting to cool down into like the 50s sometimes even the 40s at night um so the heat will be coming on soon I've been putting it off I refuse to turn my heat on this early but um yeah it looks pretty good I am going to go put on a little bit of makeup and see how well like that plays with it um and make sure it doesn't like pill or anything like that and then I'll give it a couple hours and I will come back with my final review for you. So see you then. Hey guys, I am back. It's been probably like closer to four hours now since I first applied the new Perito Daily Go To sunscreen. And it is a lot. Sorry, Jameson's, you know. And Jameson. <laughs> um, it, it does remind me a lot of the Can Make Clear um, sunscreen. So, and the fact that it's just a little too emollient for me right now, but I think maybe in the winter when I'm a little bit more dry, it will be good. Um, but right now, I don't know how well you can tell, but I have lots of pilling going on. And... Jameson, stop it. <laughs> um, like if I itch at my face or anything, like it just starts to pill up. Um, so it didn't really play well with makeup. Uh, which I had the kind of the same thing with the can make one. When I would apply makeup over it, it just started to pill a little bit because it was just too emollient and didn't quite fully soak into my skin. So most of my pilling is around here and then like over here where I've got lots of peach fuzz. It was pilling pretty good there too. Um, but I mean, I still like the feel of the sunscreen and everything. So if it's a non-makeup day or hopefully in the winter when I'm a little more dry and can kind of soak up a little bit more of the oiliness of it then it might work pretty good but definitely not my holy grail sunscreen unfortunately I was really hoping that it would be similar to the one that they discontinued earlier in the year um because I really liked that one and it played well under my makeup too so but uh they are coming out I believe with two more and they're rolling each one out individually so I will try my best to get those two in as well and give those a shot and see how they compare and if they, you know, are better than this one. And like I said, this one is a hybrid. It's mineral and chemical. Um, 
It's a little bit too emollient for me, but it feels good on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy or anything like that. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing sunscreen. It didn't cause any kind of irritation. It didn't burn my eyes at all. And it, it went on very smoothly and very, you know, like it was going to sink in and it just didn't quite make it there. Um, but if you have dry skin, I think this could probably work for you a little bit better than it's working for me. So, uh, but anyways, that's my review on the new Pareto sunscreen. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below so you can see some more. I hope you all have a skintastic day and I will see you soon. Thank you.